Hi, welcome to clickmeproject.com. This video will lead us to student tracking system. In this system, we are going to see how the administrator is uh, going to effectively maintain the student details. Also, how the students are going to access their site. And the administrator can register the new student and update the student details such as profile, attendance, mark sheets, registration, etc. The administrator can view the information of any student by giving the student ID in order to retrieve the information of the selected student from the database. The administration will provide ID and password for all the students. Then the students can view the details by using the ID and password which is offered by the administrator. The student has access to view mark sheets and attendance details. Also, they can edit their profile and change their password for their convenience. Now we are going to see the process flow. The student tracking system can be accessed by three of the members in the administration. The first one is the administrator and the second one is faculty and the third one is student. The administrator will register the new student and generate the ID and password for the student. The faculty will access the student for updating the attendance of the student and marks of the student. Also, the students can access the system by using the ID produced by the administrator in order to view the profile, edit the profile or to change the password etc. The student can also view the mark sheet and attendance details of their own. The system will help the students and administrator to maintain a good rapport with each other. Now we are going to see the demo of the whole process. First, we have to log in to the login page. Then we can give username or password to login. Here I am giving the username as an admin and I am giving the password as admin in order to login as an admin. First, by clicking the login button, we will go to the navigation page. In this page, we can select any one of the items and we can go to update or edit that. First, I am going to register a new student. For registering the student, click register button. Here, first we have to specify the student name. For example, here I am giving a student name as Saravanan. And I'm specifying his father name as Rajan. And selecting the department to which category he is. And selecting the gender, date of birth. And we have to specify the address of the student. And then I am going to give the mail id of the student. Then I am going to enter the contact number and blood group and emergency contact number. Once I click the register button, the student details will be registered successfully in the database and ID will be generated automatically. If you have to move on to the navigation page, please click home button. Then you are going to enter attendance for this particular student. First select the department and click the attendance button to enter the attendance. Here click the register number and select the month. For example, here I am selecting the month February and total number of working days in the month is 22 and days attended by the student is 20. So leave is 2. Sorry, 2. And I am going to update the attendance in data set. Then we are going to home page for viewing the attendance or entering the marks. Here first I am going to enter the marks of the student. Select the Easter number, select the semester and marks. Tab subject 1 as 65, subject 2 as 75 and I am giving subject 3 as 85 and clicking the update button to update the marks. Then again go to the home page and select the options whichever I want. Here I am going to view the attendance and marks of a particular student. For example, here I am selecting CSE 429 to view. 
here we can display the all the details of the student and marks then we are going to view the profile of the student here i am selecting the register number to view the profile of that student here we can view the profile and we can go back to the home page by clicking the home button then we are going to edit the marks if needed if for example here i am selecting the student 469 and selecting the semester 6 semester edit here we can edit if any marks is entered wrongly for example here i am entering the marks 95 and updating then we are again going back to the home page to edit attendance likewise we can edit the student details update and view the details if necessary now we are going to see the student part before that we have to log out we can click the log out button to log out then i am going to enter as a student here i am entering the id and password which i have given from the administrator and clicking the login button to login we have to wait until we get login here is the menu for the access to the student first if a students want to view the profile by click the view profile button here he can he or she can view the profile of that student then we are going to home page to edit our profile for example here i am editing the name as a r t h y r t and clicking the update button the details will be updated successfully in the database then we are going to change password here i am entering the old password and i am going to give a new password then i am going to confirm the new password click the change button to change the password then we are going to view the attendance of that mine here we can view the attendance of the particular student then we can view the marks of the fine here we can view the marks of the particular student thanks for watching us